Look, I gotta be honest with you folks. This is getting old, isn't it? Yet another developer saying that, hey, Switch is for kids, Nintendo's for kids, their primary audience is children, and it always comes from somebody who's not releasing games on the Nintendo Switch. This is something that was common back in 2017, but kind of died off over the years. After all, we've gotten games like Doom Eternal, The Witcher 3, uh, it just, Hades, just a slew of games that clearly are not aimed at children uh, and have sold really, really well on Nintendo Switch. I mean, Breath of the Wild isn't exactly... I would say arguably for everybody, even though it can be, uh, and that's one of the top sellers on the platform. I get it. When you see Animal Crossing blowing up, you see Mario Kart 8 Deluxe blowing up, it gives off this perception, but those games have a wide range of appeal, and Nintendo's already put out metrics twice now in the Switch lifespan, proving that the Nintendo Switch audience is primarily over the age of 18. It's literally like 80% of the audience is over the age of 18. So the Switch is... Maybe not so much for children, but that's neither here nor there because the creator of Yakuza has come out to basically slap down the Nintendo Switch yet again. In an interview, he said these words, and these are translations. I have a clarification on the translation as well to try to put it in more in context, but the original translation goes, I think even now, the Nintendo platform is still a game console that is played by a wide range of age groups. But basically, I think it's hardware for kids and teens. Amid all that, at the time, Nintendo was also putting a lot of effort into the kids market. And I thought it would suit. And he's just talking in general terms of, about why Yakuza isn't on Switch. He goes on to point out that obviously Nintendo has some other games like Breath of the Wild and stuff that have sold really, really well that appeal to core gamers, but he still feels a vast majority of the Switch's audience is children, ergo the systems for kids. Now, the clarification on these quotes is that he doesn't specifically say the Nintendo Switch is for kids. He says the primary audience of the system is children. That's basically what he says, and he uses a very condescending Japanese word that doesn't have a direct translation to English, but it's a um, it's a word that's understood to be demeaning in the way it's said, and this is why people are taking some issue with what he said. So even in context, because I know some people are saying, well, in context, with correct translations, he's still insulting Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch gamers by calling us primarily children. And... It's cool if he believes that. I think he has this general belief that because the top two selling games on the platform, you know, you throw Pokemon in the mix as well, you, you throw Animal Crossing in the mix, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they are games that appeal to everyone, from children all the way through adults, so then he just firmly believes the primary audience is children, when, honestly, the primary audience playing those games are adults. It turns out that adults aren't just into M-rated video games, like Doom. We really love games that are just fun. We don't need to base what we enjoy in this medium based on the rating of the game. I mean, this has been so true of adults when you look across the spectrum. Like, when you look at, you know, say TV shows, right? I enjoy a wide variety of TV shows. You know, things like Better Call Saul and, uh, you know, things like, I don't know. It was uh, I've been, I've been uh, watching Hannibal from you know you know what six seven years ago now. Uh, the three seasons of Hannibal I've been watching that clearly shows intended for a mature audience. You can argue the same with like Game of Thrones or something like that. But I also enjoy something like SpongeBob. You know, I still enjoy SpongeBob to this day. I enjoy other shows that are more light-hearted and could arguably be watched by family, like Home Improvement, as an example. That doesn't make me a child for enjoying content that's not necessarily intended for an older audience that's that's what i what i get so baffled about this it's just another game developer dismissing nintendo because they have this perception in their mind that adults can't enjoy the same things that they feel like are meant for kids so because this guy looks at Animal Crossing, looks at Mario Kart, looks at Mario in general, see, sees this cutesy thing going on and says, oh, look at these popular games, Splatoon's popular arm, look at all these Nintendo games, they're all made for children, without recognizing that most of the people playing those games aren't actually children. I think that's the hard part 
when we have this conversation. I, I've talked about this before. I did a whole video on this like a number of years ago where I said, hey, Nintendo's not for kids. Like, it can be. Yes, I encourage my children to play Nintendo Switch games. But you know what else they play? They also play games on Xbox. They also play games on our tablets. Like, they play a wide variety of content. Children's games exist on everything. Games that can be played by kids exist on everything. I mean, literally, I know New Super Lucky Sale is, is, is on Switch, but it's on Game Pass on Xbox. And, hey, hello, my son, Aiden, my middle child, he's seven years old, has been playing a ton of New Super Lucky Tale on my Xbox. Oh, no, Xbox's primary audience must be four kids. Oh, wait, it's not because, you know, they push games like Halo or Gears, these M-rated games. Okay, so Nintendo isn't pushing M-rated games. But it turns out that if you look at some of the audience metrics of some of these games, like, say, Call of Duty, there has been some research done that something like 40 to 50% of the audience that plays that game isn't actually old enough to play that game. mind blown it's almost as if children are drawn to things that are considered cool and adults that are more mature tend to not care if something's considered cool or not i am not embarrassed at all to sit outside at gamestop waiting for an xbox series x and playing animal crossing on a nintendo switch no embarrassment at all in fact there was two other people that were doing the exact same thing when i was waiting for my system like this is this is not new like adults enjoy a wide variety of content people enjoy white so yes obviously nintendo's you know, very family friendly and how they approach many of their video games. It's very rare that they approach an edgier, more adult way of going about things, uh, maybe more teenage way of going about things in something like Fire Emblem or Xenoblade, but it's very rare to see Nintendo get edgy. But adults are into edgy, but they're also into cutesy. They're also into everything. We're into fun. Now, this isn't me, this isn't platform war, it's not about PlayStation or Xbox or PC. I play games on everything. Once I have a PlayStation 5, I will officially be playing games on every available platform that's current. It's just, it's frustrating to see developer after developer after developer still dismiss the Switch as like, you know what, mm, we just don't care about that platform, it's for kids. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of it. I don't know if your guys are tired of it. This is my Nintendo Defense Force and like full full go here because this is just again i don't know how many more times the stats need to be thrown out there that nintendo has given us they have told us most of the people that own and play a switch right now today are adults are there kids with a switch absolutely are there kids playing playstation 5s and xbox series x's absolutely in fact the jokes lately have been oh you know or the scalper saying oh are we gonna feel bad because some kid doesn't have a playstation 5 under his christmas tree this holiday well, yeah, kids want PlayStation 5 too because it's edgy, it's cool, it's hip, it's new. Just like adults. I think we need to mature as a populace when it comes to understanding what people play and why they play it. All right? Yes, M-rated games are meant for older audiences, but we ha can't say that and not realize that younger audiences like that too. Are you going to look me in the face and say when you were a kid... You didn't want to play edgier games? Heck, when I was a kid, I played Doom. That game was way out of my age range. I played Doom. I was, you know, played Wolfenstein. I was killing some Nazis. Like, it wasn't that big a deal. But it was M-rated. Nobody cared at the time because the visuals weren't that realistic. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, no one really cared that you were shooting, you know, a gun at a fireball on the screen in Doom or, or, or some blob looking demon thing. Like, nobody cared back then. But as we got older, as things look more realistic, as they're gorier and bloodier and just, you know, just very, um, especially in the case of Doom Eternal, very gruesome. Yeah, okay, I don't want my kids playing that. It'll probably give my kids nightmares. But you know what? I can't blame them if, you know, my daughter, who turns 10 here in like a week, catches me playing a game of doom eternal and is like whoa dad 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 that's kind of cool when can i play when am i old enough to play that game and then she's sneaking on my xbox sometime in the next year deciding she wants to give a try to doom eternal i can't blame children for that because hey dad was playing it 
My children happen to think I'm pretty awesome. My daughter, God, I do YouTube. That's like her dream is to be some, some big social media star as I try to curb her from it while doing YouTube. See, a conundrum of being a parent as a YouTuber that fundamentally does this and enjoys it but knows it's not a realistic goal to be a YouTuber, to be a social media star. If it happens, great, but like, don't really think that should be a life goal. Uh, but that being said, hey, Follow your dreams. If I'll help her when the time is right, when she's old enough. I don't think I might. Problem is, I might really gonna let her get into it until she's pretty much out of high school. But anyways, that's just me, guys. I am the Center Over Just from the Center Prime. Let me know what you think about these comments uh, from the creator of Yakuza. Uh, his name is uh, Tashiro Nagushi. I don't. I don't know a uh, Nagushi. Nagashi. I don't know. I, I might have butchered it. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm just trying to, uh, I guess, dispel another attack, I suppose, on the demographic that plays Nintendo games and plays Switch, because I am 34 years old and well within Nintendo's 18 to 35 that they claim are the primary audience that plays Switch. All right, folks, that's all I got. I dropped the mic, but like, it's attached. So, all right, folks, I'm the head of Jazz from the Center Prime. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more. Uh, we're on our road to 70,000 subscribers. If we can hit 70K in this month, we got some special stuff happening for you in January. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.